Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how I built uh, my own CCTV motion detector system along with a buzzer. So as you can see, this is the continuation of my previous project where I interfaced a 5-inch display with my Raspberry Pi B+. Now additionally, I have added a buzzer to my uh, GPIO pin on Raspberry Pi so that whenever there is an activity detected on the screen, my buzzer will also be. So I'm monitoring four screens all together. Right now you can see only one screen because I have uh, programmed it to display only the screen in which motion was detected uh, previously. So now uh, let me run the code. So this is the code, uh, which is, this is not the complete code. The complete code can be found at the uh, link given in the description of this video. This code does not include the GPIO section. So let me also have the output file here so that you'll be able to see it. So uh, what I have done is I have stitched all the four cameras to a single image so that I could process it easily. Uh, let me quickly show you that as well. Let me just grab frame one and display it for you. So there you go. This is what is actually happening behind uh, the Raspberry Pi. Uh, let me get the screen as well so as you can see right now there is uh, some people walking in the camera you can also notice it over here so what i have done is i have combined all the four screens into a single screen and whenever there is a motion detector that particular screen alone will be displayed on the raspberry pi now please ignore all the uh, random boxes that you find on one single camera that is because the camera is broken and as you can see, there are so many grains there. So that's why I'm getting this problem. Uh, let me close this program. Yeah. So uh, for the buzzer to activate, uh, let me bring that screen back. For the buzzer to activate, uh, I have uh, mentioned only one screen uh, for the alarm purpose. So only this particular screen, which I am showing right now, only this particular screen, uh, only if there is activity in this particular screen, the buzzer will get triggered. Now this camera is broken, so that's why there is so many uh, motion being detected over there. But uh, I will show you in another video where it works a bit more better. So uh, let me just cut this video here and I'll show you how it works in real time. 